and and uh, you know this is <clears throat> reflecting back on the theme of this of this day reimagining community in difficult times in identifying how we could support each of the initiatives that are going on through through the campus and how we could make sure that then we're able to reach our students to come and then share their perspectives and I want to uh, give a big shout out to the work that uh, Jason and, and the Student Leadership Academy is doing because you know we see the, the progress that students have through all of the activities that they do. Uh, doing a panel like this is not easy. Public speaking is not easy. And then, you know, we have our students who have provided, uh, you know, difficult, difficult recommendations, but, you know, very important for us to reflect upon. So, uh, you know, we could see the great work that you're doing through, through the academy with our students. And we hope that this could potentially expand. I know it's going to be a lot more work for Jason, but hopefully, hopefully. Can I expand uh, on that? More... Sorry, yeah. when you're done. Sorry. Hopefully bringing more resources, but the idea is being able to share with other students that we have these resources to help them go through the academic side, but also to make sure that then they look at the extracurricular activities as well. Can I expand on that? I'd also like to say thank you to all the faculty here, because the more I look, there's more like 10 or 12 faculty members that are club mentors, and to all the faculty here that do research with students. And just so faculty are aware, this semester I discovered, and thank you for some people in this room and for financial aid, we can have work study students. And work study students can do a large array of work. So if you're interested in work study students, please check financial aid. It's really quite a nice thing for the students and for us and for also being engaged and part of a community. Thank you so, so much and thank you. Yes, Professor Colon, Lizette? Yes, I would like to uh, recommend something, uh, Carlos, and I'm, I'm using you as a spokesperson for all of us. Uh, classes are going to start tomorrow, and I am wondering uh, if the college could really consider having a welcoming uh, environment, I mean, environment when they, to greet them, not only to be the students and faculty and staff to be asked, are you vaccinated or not? But just to create that sense of the Ostos community and uh, to really welcome people in a, in a, in a warm way. I think that um, by for tomorrow it will be too late, but maybe use ambassadors uh, from the, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at Jason here, uh, uh, student leaders that could help as people that will be greeting students in a welcoming way or student personnel staff that know how to do that. Uh, besides, we don't care, I mean, the, 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 the security people are there, fine, but we need another environment for the students when they come in. And also, please bring to the administration the need to revamp that website. It is not friendly for the students. It's very difficult for them to access information. I don't, I mean, I, I appreciate that some of the students felt that they get the information in an easy way. That has not been my experience as a counselor. When the students come to me, they said, where do I get this? It's very difficult for me to get information. So get together, figure it out how to make things friendly, user-friendly for every single person, knowing also that there is a barrier in language. So please uh, go back as a team. I know that uh, uh, Dean Bobet was around here in some place. So please, uh, just as part of the team of the, of the president, those things we have been saying for the longest, and that is part of the problem that the students were saying before. There is a problem in terms of access to communication and access to the resources to understand where to go, who to answer. And if somebody doesn't answer in 48 hours, like some student was saying, who then should, be, should they be contacting so that things will happen, so that they are not uh, so frustrated uh, behind their little home, uh, in, behind the, the, the little boxes that we have. We have to figure out, it has been already three semesters. This is going to be our fourth semester. If we haven't learned by now, when? Uh, so uh, I wish all of you a wonderful semester, but it's, I see that it's going to be as tough. So please get together and 
put all your thinking caps and make this better. Thanks. Thank you, Lisette, for your your words and your recommendations. Um, I'll make sure I'll, I'll, br I'll bring those concerns. Um, I, I have my my boss, Ding Babette Odan, here as well. She, she's also hearing. So, um, and then go, going back to the beginning of this day, remember, this is day zero, right? That's that's why the, the name of this event, uh, this is the day before we are starting the semester. So we, are, we have a lot of conversations. We had... Uh, great recommendations from our students, a lot more to work. And that's what is community. You know, community happens uh, every, 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 every time, every, every day, and in identifying how we could share the information, bring the concerns, bring it to the, the proper uh, venue so that we're able to have those, uh, to have those uh, improvements that we want to see, right? I want to, uh, as before we we close, I would like to ask um, all of the faculty members from the CTL Advisory Council to use this functionality for raising your hand so that you can pop up to the top of the screen. Could you do that? The success of coming together with an event like this it has to do with planning with a lot of work from all of the members from the CTL Advisory Council, from the members from the... Uh, CTL uh, team, Luz Rivera, Itzel, Juber, Kevin, they all are, they all are working from the uh, behind the scenes, but there's a lot of work that goes on in making sure that they were able to put together a program like this. And as I said, this is the beginning on, on having these conversations. You'll hear, you'll get communications from us about mindful conversations that will come up. Please share them with, um, you know, we know that we get a lot of information, we don't get a lot of emails, but um, sometimes it will be the same email that is being sent by the center that you take it and share with a colleague, a couple of colleagues, they will be able to see it uh, and then uh, take advantage of having those Hello. conversations. Um, and I'm going to leave you, I share the program with you, we'll share the recording, we'll share the, um, We'll share as well the um, yeah. the program with you and with everybody. I want to leave you with a couple of quotes that uh, a couple of quotes that uh, we added to the program that uh, are very relevant to what we were discussing today. Too often we underestimate the power of a touch, a smile, a kind word a listen, e listening ear, an honest compliment, or the smallest act of caring, all of which have the potential to turn a life around. Another one, the greatest of a community is most accurately measured by the compassionate actions of its members. And the last one that I want to leave with you, some people think they are in community, but they are only in proximity. True community requires commitment and openness. It is a willingness to extend yourself to encounter and know the other. With this uh, quotes and reflections, I want to thank everybody for being part of the uh, day zero. And we wish you a great, a great start of the semester.